tonight, we'll find West Virginia State hosting Glenville State. The women's team, like I said, number two in the conference, and they have a unique strategy. Substitute the entire team every minute. This is not easy for anyone to handle. They can serve stamina to run full court press all night and will wear opponents out. Loose ball, Jacks dive for it. Coaches love that. Amari Grace scores. She had 11 points tonight. State penetrates the defense. Denisha Bowman gets the layup. She had nine points tonight. Then you have Blair and Hadgard, same thing, drive the defense and score. This is what happens here. She had four points. The Pioneers, though, ran off on the Yellow Jackets tonight, 109 to 79. Now, before I show you the men's game, got to call some attention to the Pioneers. Wheeling's Phil Bledsoe and Polka's Noah Frampton. Both of these guys dressed in blue tonight. They transferred from Marshall. And on the sideline to help coach them, the man on staff who knows them best, Charleston's very own Odd Elmore. So it's a little homecoming night. Even so, State's Anthony Pittman predicts a win. Hype man, hype man. Yeah, that's me. Love it. Now, tonight, look at Gus Stone. He's driving. I love this shot from Stone. He led the team in scoring. Now, he did. He had 20 points. Pat Johnson, watch this man dunk. He had oh, oh monster. Wow. I know this guy's so yeah. strong, right? Wow. Yeah. Now, I got to give Frampton some love here. That's Noah Frampton. Look at him. Good. The hustle from the wow. freshman. Yeah. There it is. He had eight points. Pioneers were led by Phil Bledsoe with 24. The Yellow Jackets won 104 to 93. So they'll go to West Virginia Wesleyan.